Okay, welcome back to the channel. This is Rena, and today we're going to be doing, um, it's just pouring and raining today. Let me take out the gum. So today, I will just say hello. We are going to be reading from the book of Enoch. So we're going to be taking off at chapter 16. Hope everybody is well. Everyone is blessed, and uh, if you need prayers, uh, please do leave them in the comments. I um, have a little something going on, but I have been, I just filled up with some fresh guacamole and Irish butter and a lot of garlic because garlic kills viral infections, fungal infections, and cancer. So believe me, you definitely... God put everything here for us for that reason, to be able to take care of ourselves in these times that we're in, these very last days. Just try to make sure you take care of yourself, and um, that is most of most importance, and it matters, okay? Um, I have been feeling just a little bit chilly today, and yesterday I didn't feel good at all, but I'm definitely feeling a lot better today. And so I thank you all for being here and sticking around. Um, if you're new here, please hit that thumbs up and it helps out the algorithms. And then also share if you want. And then as well, um, you can subscribe, of course. Um, and we believe here in Jesus, Yeshua, Emmanuel. Emmanuel means, Emanu means with us is... And then L at the end is the great almighty God. So God, Jesus is God. Yeshua is God. Emmanuel is God, the great mighty counselor, the great physician. He is the healer of healers. He's the best. So that's what I have to say about my God, my holy God. He is amazing. Um, never stops, never ceases to amaze me. And the Holy Spirit is the same Sorry about, I just look kind of funny, but um, I don't really care how I look anyways, right? It doesn't matter. But well, let's take off on chapter 16 because that's what matters, the Book of Enoch, okay? Now, just to give you a little bit of background on the Book of Enoch, if you're new here, the Book of Enoch was never really meant to be in the Bible. Um, the very first verse out of this book is that it is not for the generation that Enoch's in, but for a very distant, remote in the future generation, the one we're in now. Um, and they found four copies of this in cave number seven, or cave number four, excuse me, in the Dead Sea Scrolls. So the, the book of Enoch, Jesus was reading it because he quotes out of Enoch so many times, over 10 times, definitely could be 20 times, but you know, it's between 10 to 20 times for sure. Jude, James, Peter, all reference to Enoch. So that's where we have that going on. And um, he wanted me to share this and be reading it to you guys. And it's very important for us to know. Even the second book of Ezra that was removed out of the King James 1611 version that came, they took it out in the late 1800s. Yeah, that one is all about taking care of yourself. Uh, and how the it would be very important for the uh, leaders in the churches to know about herbs, to know about like spices and good things to eat, like that we do eat to take care of ourselves, uh, that it would be absolutely a must that they know this so that they can instruct their flock on how to eat properly because of the way that they're doing tainting things the food the food supplies right so just all things to take into consideration i'm just the messenger don't kill the messenger <laughs> don't kill the one that reads the book the book is the most important thing jesus does everything that's supernatural in my life it's not me it's just me i'm a conduit and we are all conduits and if you talk to him about this you're going to find out it's the truth okay because he can do things through you as you are a conduit on the earth to use his power the holy spirit power to heal and to just do to walk in the supernatural okay and be opposed to the enemy 
and to love the things that the Lord loves and hate the things that the Lord hates, okay? So let's just go on that happy note. A, admit you're a sinner in need of a Savior. If you have not been saved, believe in the blood that was shed on Calvary and uh, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yeshua the Christ. Uh, and deliverance will be demonstrated upon receiving that water baptism. So, and then confess out loud to everyone, Jesus is Lord. Yeshua is Lord. And so people here in the United States know him as Jesus. And if you say Yeshua, uh, include it's Jesus because people will get mixed up and they won't know who you're talking about. Okay. All right. So here we go. Chapter 16. And at the death of the giants, spirits will go out and shall destroy without incurring judgment coming from their bodies. Their flesh shall be destroyed until the day of the consummation. The great judgment in which the age shall be consummated over the watchers and the godless and shall be wholly consummated. Matthew 8 verses 28 and 29. And when he was come to the other side into the country of the Gergergenes, sorry, Gergesenes, there met him two possessed with devils coming out of the tombs exceedingly fierce so that no man might pass by that way and behold they cried out saying what have we to do with thee jesus thou son of god are thou come hither to torment us before the time all right verse 2 chapter 16 of enoch first enoch and now is the watchers who have sent you sent you to intercede for them who had been in heaven before, say to them, you were in heaven, but all the mysteries of heaven had not been revealed to you, and you knew worthless ones. <laughs> and these in the hardness of your hearts you have made known to the women, and through these mysteries women and men work much evil on earth. Say to them, therefore, you have no peace. All right. Chapter 17, and they took me to a place in which those who were there were like flaming fire. And when they wished, they made themselves appear as men. They brought me to the place of darkness and to a mountain, the point of whose summit reached to heaven. And I saw the lighted places and the treasures, treasuries of the stars and of the thunder and in the uttermost depths were where were a fiery bow and arrows and their quiver and a fiery sword and all the lightning. And they took me to the waters of life and to the fire of the West, which receives every setting of the sun. And I came to a river of fire in which the fire flows like water into the great sea towards the West. I saw the great rivers and came to the great darkness and went to the place where no flesh walks. I saw the mountains of the darkness of winter and the place from where all the waters of the deep flow. I saw the mouths of all the rivers of the earth and the mouth of the deep. Chapter 18. I saw the storehouse of all the winds. I saw how he had adorned the whole creation with them and the firm foundations of the earth. And I saw the cornerstone of the earth. I saw the four winds which support the earth and the firmament of the heaven. I saw how the winds stretch out the height of heaven and have their station between heaven and earth. These are the pillars of heaven. I saw the winds of heaven which turn and bring the sky and the sun and all the stars to their setting place. I saw the winds on the earth carrying the clouds. I saw the paths of the angels. I saw at the end of the earth the firmament of heaven above. And I continued south and saw a place which burns day and night, where there are seven mountains of magnificent stones, three towards the east and three towards the south. And as for, the to as for those towards the east, they were, the, uh, were of colored stone, and one of pearl, and one of jacinth, 
a stone of healing, and those towards the south-south of redstone. But the middle one reached to heaven like the throne of God and was made of alabaster, and the summit of the throne was of sapphire. Okay, so this is Ezekiel 1, 22. And the likeness of the firmament upon the heads of the living creature was as the color of the terrible crystal stretched forth over the heads above. And under the firmament were the wings straight, the one toward the other. Every one had two, which covered on this side. And every one had two, which covered on that side, their bodies. And when they went, I heard the noise of their wings like the noise of great waters, as the voice of the Almighty, the voice of speech, as the noise of an host when, where they stood. When they stood, then they let down their wings. And then, and there was a voice from the firmament that was over their heads where they stood and had let down their wings and above the firmament was over their heads was like the likeness of a throne as the appearance of a sapphire stone and upon the likeness of the throne was the likeness uh, as the appearance of a man above it and I saw as the color of amber as the appearance of fire round about within it from the appearance of his loins even upward and from the appearance of his loins even downward, I saw as it were the appearance of fire, and it had brightness round about, as the appearance of the bow that in is in the cloud in the day of rain, so was the appearance of the brightness around about. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord, and when I saw it, I fell upon my face, and I heard a voice of one that spoke, okay? And I saw a great abyss of the earth. This is back to Enoch now. And I saw a great abyss of the earth with pillars of heavenly fire. And I saw among them fiery pillars of heaven, which were falling. And as regards both height and depth, they were in immeasurable, scary place don't want to go there and beyond the abyss I saw a place which had no firmament of heaven above and no firmly founded earth beneath it there was no water on it and no birds but it was a desert and a horrible place I saw there seven stars like great burning mountains and an angel questioned me regarding them the angel said this place is the end of heaven and earth this has become a prison for the stars and the host of heaven and the stars which roll over the fire, and they which have transgressed the commandment of the Lord in the beginning of their rising, because they did not come out at their proper appointed times. And he was angry with them, and bound them until the time when their guilt should be consummated, even for ten thousand years. Okay? Um... Now, 1 Timothy 4.1 states, The Spirit clearly says that in the later times, some will abandon the faith and follow deceiving spirits and things taught by demons. Revelation 9.20 states, The rest of mankind that were not killed by the plagues, these plagues still did not repent of the work of their hands. They did not stop worshiping demons and idols of gold, uh, silver, bronze, stone, and wood. Idols that cannot see, nor hear, or walk, nor did they repent of their murderers, their magic arts, their sexual immortality, or their thefts. Okay? Verse 2, chapter 19 of Enoch. And the women also of the angels who went astray shall become sirens. Okay? Sirens. And I, Enoch, alone saw the vision the end of all things, and no man shall see as I have seen. First Peter 4, 7. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober, and watch unto prayer. 
Amen? Yeah. Chapter 20. These are the names of the holy angels who watch. Uriel, one of the holy angels who is over the world, turmoil and terror. Raphael, one of the holy angels who is over the spirits of men. Ragiel, one of the holy angels who takes vengeance on the world of the luminaries. Michael, one of the holy angels set over the virtues of mankind and over chaos. Serakel, one of the holy angels who is over the spirits who sin in the spirit. Gabriel, one of the holy angels who is over paradise and the serpents and the cherubim. 8. Ramiel, one of the holy angels whom God set over those who rise. Okay, that's that. We have chapter 21. Then I proceeded to where things were chaotic and void, and I saw there something horrible. I saw neither a heaven above nor a firmly founded earth, but a place chaotic and horrible. And there I saw seven stars of heaven bound together in it like great, like a great mountain and burning with fire. Then I said, for what sin are they bound? And on what and why have they been cast in here? Then said Uriel, one of the holy angels who was with me and was chief over them, Enoch, why do you ask and why are you eager for the truth? These are some of the stars of heaven which have transgressed the commandment of the Lord and are bound here until 10,000 years. The time entailed by their sins are consummated. And I went out from there to another place. Whew, let us get out of that place. I don't even like thinking about that place. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go somewhere else. So we're going, here we go. And I went out from there to another place which was still more horrible, uh-oh, than the former. And I saw a terrible thing, a great fire there, which burned and blazed. And the place was cleft as far as the abyss full of great falling columns of fire. This sounds like Sheol. See, because I think Sheol, they say, this is what I've heard anyways. Okay, from the distance, the third heavens down to the earth, that would be the distance below the bottomless pit that there is a special place for these types of entities, and it's Sheol. But I could be wrong. But see, I believe that there's, this is a compartment that's below hell, and it's very much deeper than the hell area, okay? So I don't even really like talking about it, but y'all, you don't want to go there, okay? So just be good. Be true, and the Lord loves you. He will love you. He does love you. He does not want, the Father does not want eternal separation from you at all. It's up to each individual to actually invest and to do the right thing and to study the Word of God. We've all had plenty of time here. Um, the younger ones, um, of course, don't quite get it. And I wasn't, I was 48 when I started to read the Bible. Okay, I'm just going to be honest. So I'm 55 now and uh, I'm still pretty much like a baby, you know, but I love the Lord and I know that the Lord is my God, my King, and um, that's that. And so you all should know too, even if you just got saved yesterday, he loves you and he's wanting to hear from you every single day. Talk to him, speak to him. And just tell him how you're feeling. And if you have things going on, you need to talk to him about it. Believe me, he takes care of everything. He really does. <laughs> He's amazing. So, all right. I'm going to read on. Neither its width or breadth could I see, nor could I see its source. Then I said, I am afraid of this place and cannot stand to look at it. Then Uriel, one of the holy angels who was with me, answered and said to me, Enoch, why are you so afraid? And I answered, because of this fearful place and because of the spectacle of the pain. And he said to me, this place is the prison of the angels and here they will be imprisoned forever. Okay. And I went out to another place where there were, there was a mountain and hard rock and there was in it four hollow places, deep and wide and very smooth. 
How smooth are the hollow places and looked deep and dark. Then Raphael answered one of the holy angels who was with me and said to me, these hollow places have been created for the very for this very purpose that the spirits of the souls of the dead should be gathered here, that all the souls of the children of men should brought together here. And these places have been made to receive them until the day of their judgment and until the period appointed, until the great judgment comes on them. Okay? I saw the spirits of a dead I saw the spirit of a dead man, and his voice went out to heaven and made petitions. And I asked Raphael, the angel who was with me, <clears throat> who was with me, and I said to him, this spirit which petitions, whose is it? Whose voice goes up and petitions heaven? And he answered me saying, this is the spirit which went out from Abel, whom his brother Cain slew. And he makes his suit against him until his offspring is destroyed from the face of the earth and his offspring are annihilated from among the children of men. Okay, this if you want to read Genesis 3.15, it talks about God will put enmity between her seed and your seed, talking about Satan's seed and her seed. So, you know, there are two separate seed lines on the planet and that is just a fact, okay? There's no going around that one. Um... Now, um, then I asked regarding at the hollow places, why is one separated from the other? And he answered, and he answered uh, me and said to me, these three have been made that the spirits of the dead might be separated. Divisions have been made for the spirits of the righteous in which there is the bright spring of water and one for sinners when they die and are buried in the earth and judgment has not been executed on them in their lifetime. Okay. Here their spirits shall be set apart in this great pain until the great day of judgment and punishment and torment of those who curse forever and retribution for their spirits. Wow. Second Peter 3, 7 states, By the same word, the present heavens and earth are reserved for fire, being kept for the day of judgment and destruction of ungodly men. Now back to verse 12, First Enoch in chapter 22. There he shall bind them forever. And such a division has been made for the spirits of those who make their petitions, who make disclosures concerning their destruction, when they were slain in the days of the sinners. Such has been made for the spirits of men who were not righteous, but sinners, who were complete in transgression. And of the transgressors, transgressors they shall be companions. Hmm. But their spirits shall not be destroyed in the day of judgment, nor shall they be raised from here. Then I blessed the Lord of glory and said, Blessed be my Lord, the Lord of righteousness who rules forever. Chapter 23. From here I went to another place to the west of the ends of the earth. And I saw a burning fire which ran without rusting and never stopped from its course day or night, but flowed always in the same way. And I asked, saying, Which is this which never stops? Then Ragiel, one of the holy angels, who is with me, answered me and said to me, This course of fire which you have seen is the fire in the west and is the fire of all the lights of heaven. Chapter 24 is my favorite chapter, one of my favorites. Here we go, chapter 24, and then that we're going to finish up. And from here, I went to another place on the earth, and he showed me a mountain range of fire which burned day and night. And I went beyond it and saw seven magnificent mountains, all differing from each other. And their stones were magnificent and beautiful. 
and their form was glorious, three toward the east, one founded on the other, and three toward the south, one founded on the other, and deep, rough ravines, no one of which joined with any other. And the seventh mountain was in the midst of these, and it was higher than them, resembling the seat of a throne, and, a, and fragrant trees encircled the throne, and among them was a tree such as I had never smelled, nor was any among them, or were others like it. It had a fragrance beyond all fragrance, and its leaves and blooms and wood would not ever wither. And its fruit is beautiful, and its fruit resembles the dates of a palm. Then I said, how beautiful is this tree and fragrant, and its leaves are fair, and its blooms very delightful in appearance. Then Michael, one of the holy and honored angels who was with me and was their leader spoke and he said to me, Enoch, why do you ask me about the fragrance of the tree and why do you wish to learn the truth? Then I answered him saying, I wish to know about everything, but especially about this tree. And he answered saying, this high mountain which you have seen, whose summit is like the throne of God, is his throne, where the Holy Great One, the Lord of glory, the eternal King, will sit when he shall come down to visit the earth with goodness. And as for the fragrant tree, no mortal is permitted to touch it until the great judgment, when he shall take vengeance on all and bring everything to its completion forever. Speaks about this in Revelation 22. For the healing of the nations, the leaves. For the healing of the nations. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And you can't eat from the fruit until the thousand years is over. The millennial reign. So yeah, everybody, it's up to you to choose to do the righteous thing that Jesus would want you to do. He is the King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, is on his thigh. And he is coming. So wake up. It's time to wake up, Sleepy Church. And this video will go far and wide. It is pouring out. Golly, now it's really coming down. It is just gray and foggy out there. That's okay, though. But I love y'all, sisters and brothers in Christ. This is your sister, Rena. I'm signing off. I should have said, get yourself a cup of coffee and pause it at the beginning if you'd like. My coffee is still warm. It's good. But please let me know how you're doing and have an awesome weekend. I will be continuing forward with this uh, this weekend as well. Love you guys. Bye.